friends, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. So, looking around, there's a bit of an issue. Now, looking around, it looks like there's a lot of, well, it looks like a fractured world. That was actually kind of my bad. Uh, what I did is I went into my game files because I was trying to learn how to do a time lapse to better entertain. The problem with that was I ended up running two instances of Minecraft and somehow it ended up messing up my world. So in the last episode I showed you the villager base and now this is kind of what's left of it. It got all fractured and torn and yeah, not very good. But that's all right. We were moving out of that base anyways. So let's get started. This will forever be called the Cursed Lands. And we'll do something fun with this later. But actually, it actually looks pretty cool. Um, despite, <laughs> despite the craziness. I'll take a quick flyby here. So, you know, go out here. It looks normal, right? Normal Minecraft come over here and all of a sudden we've got we've got chunks torn asunder we've got half of buildings this is this is part of my uh, villager base this was part of it and it I think did I did I go down in here let's go down in here it's kind of spooky honestly we go down go down in here and this this is where some of my villagers were oh you know what I'm gonna take that shulker box because this place is as good as done. So as you can see, we got this here. That's not cool. And I was like, what happened? Cause half, this building got cut in half. So I dug a hole down here. Let's come down. <laughs> Look at this. So here's this. Uh, we had our, our uh, smelter over here we have our little library which is still intact so it's kind of like a hidden temple library we still have this water elevator and we have part of this room we had some storage but that's all gone and this just leads into a cave now so that was very interesting setbacks aside we're still going to continue what we were doing we can see the remnants here of the villager outpost breeding thing that I was doing. And so I'm just going to tear all this down and we're going to go ahead and uh, essentially relocate it. Unfortunately, all the villagers around here, they disappeared when the world was torn asunder. For the time being, farewell to this cursed land. And we'll we'll come back we'll come back another day. I just finished putting all the stuff away that I had collected. I would have shown you, but that was kind of boring. Just going through sugar boxes and getting them into their appropriate uh, chest there. So now we're gonna find an area that we're gonna make our new villager hall. But actually, first, most importantly, we need to get a silk touch pickaxe. So off we go. I think this is the fourth one. <laughs> so we're gonna name him Silky Boy number four. So we got the Silky Boy, the Money Maker, our Diggy Boy, the Tragic Consequences, our Heart Seeker, and our Ender Chest. I said I was gonna show you last time the contents of the Ender Chest, uh, but I realized I never did that. So let's take a look inside. I've got a redstone box for any of my redstone needs. We've got the gamer fuel. I like this one. It's got golden carrots and fireworks. I need to restock this. But we'll do that later once we got the villagers reset up. We got a toolbox. Oh, perfect. You know, I don't have an axe on me, so we're going to put that on there. So I'm going to put all my backup equipment in here. So when I die, I can just come in here and get re-equipped. I've got my potion kit. I've got my valuables. I'll show you how much riches I currently have. Look at all those. 17 diamond blocks, 4 diamonds, 
conduit. You know, things that I think are worth having. Metal box, of course, we've got iron and gold in there. Got wood? <laughs> I sure do. I got a whole bunch of wood, a whole bunch of chests. And this box is essential to have with you. I've got bone blocks in that and ice in there because you never know when you're going to need ice. I've, been, I've got some more potions in this shulker box here. Usually I'll have some empty shulker boxes in here just in case I need the extra space wherever I'm at. Of course, obsidian in case you need to make a portal. And other things I like to have on hand, I like to have anvils, crafting tables, chests, furnaces, and a bed. So that's the ender chest. I'm in my castle here, and I was just thinking, where the heck am I going to go ahead and put the new villager trading hall? I wanted it all to be contained in the castle. And I see you, I see you down there, zombie. We're just going to ignore him. But I've come up with an idea. I know exactly where we're going to go. We are going to come up here. And earlier I was mining this area out for resources, but I think right in here is going to be the perfect area for a trading hall, right around the corner. I've already cleared out a huge space, so all we have to do is build up. And what we'll do, it we'll eventually extend this hallway to come in here and it'll look really nice. I want to kind of put a secret door right here, so later we'll look up a redstone contraption so we can make a flush with the wall door. I think that would be really cool. But I'm thinking for this area, for the trading hall, why don't we make it out of quartz? Quartz is a really nice, really nice block. And I kind of had a quartz theme going in my last place. So we're going to do the villager hall here. And I was even thinking after we do that, we could do a blacksmith area. And we'll do that in the secret gardens, I think. A little bit of progress here. I kind of dug out the floor one block deep. And I'm going to replace that with this beautiful quartz lab. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. All right, now that we have our zombie, it's time to start lighting this place up because this place is a dangerous place. Mob farm eliminated with the magic of torches. And due to it, we have our lovely friend zombie. He's just going back and forth. Although he doesn't need to keep going. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna stop him. So we got the floor in. Uh, I almost ran out of quartz, but I think the floor looks super nice. Of course, ignore the torch spam. Once we get everything up and running properly, we'll have proper lighting in here. So the next thing we want to figure out, we want to figure out what the walls are going to be made out of. We're going to find a material to... Oh, what the heck? 
Why did my zombie disappear? Aha! I caught another zombie and I gave him a sword. Look at that. Oh, you're so cute. If I get close enough, he'll hit me. But I'm not going to do that. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of block pellet I want, though. After some deliberation, I think I've come to uh, a possible solution to what I'm going to design for my trade hall. So I want the outside walls to match the castle. And then as we enter here, you can see it becomes a special room. And we're going to have our villagers in little little pods with their workstations so we can just come up and trade to them. I wanted something really cool and I did come up with this cool little design here. We got some upside down stairs, some more stair blocks, and I got some quartz blocks here. I got the really cool chisel court as a wall behind and I really like that decoration. It gives a really nice fancy feeling. We're gonna put a carpet down the center here I think is going to be a good idea, but we're going to build out some pods like this. The downside is I am super low on quartz. Uh, <laughs> I would go and get some more, however, the only problem with that is during the calamity, all of my villagers died. All of them. So I have to hunt down new villagers and probably get some of them right in here behind me get in right in here and then what we're gonna do is we're going to then be able to make a lot more quartz and probably finish this up I've done a bit of redesigning and I think this could be a real winner I really like the way it looks I'll have it all the way up to the ceiling you'll still be able to see this really cool pattern I'm not sure Maybe I'll, ooh, you know what, I could probably do end rods. I could probably do end rods right here. That would look really cool. So even when you see them from the side, because you're gonna, as you're walking down here. I was gonna go with this initially, but I thought, that's not cool enough. And I wanted to add the pillars in. So I think that's gonna look really nice. I can also put some carpet on the floor in front of here. And we can put the torches underneath, and that'll provide illumination from the bottom. So I think we're on to a winner. Now I'm just going to go and get some more resources. On to the most difficult task in the game. I have to find some more villagers. And not only do I have to find some more villagers, but I have to bring them back. Would you look at that? We found a village! Huzzah! Hello, knock knock. Don't mind if I crash here. It's a dark and stormy night. And I am but a weary traveler. Hello! Friend! You are my new friend. We're- Oh! That's why you're running. A zombie. So let's set up shop here. Get my little box. Now comes the fun part. We have to corral the villagers here. Doing villager stuff is fun. That's right, it's fun. Don't you forget it. Please stand still. No, come come back here. Come back here. Oh, yes, got him. Woo! We're going to be super safe. We're just going to build a little little hut around the villager because if there's anything I've learned in this game is they are not to be trusted at all alright you stay there it's villager number two didn't give me too much trouble now we gotta get villager number two back up to villager number one who's somewhere up here Plan B. I think it's going to be a lot easier getting this guy to go. There we go, get you under rail. Downhill. So we're just going to track this all the way downhill. Zoom all the way over here. These blocks are kind of annoying because you can't place rails on path blocks. So we're just going to replace these with grass blocks. 
just to, well, I'm going to replace it with dirt, which is the same height as grass, and that'll just allow us to do what we want to do. That's going to come down here. Honestly, thank goodness for minecarts and rails. Without without these, it would be near impossible to move villagers. You can move them with boats, uh, <laughs> but this is far simpler. Off you go! Zoom! Oh, look! It's so fun! Now we can hang out with his friend. Look, we've got two villagers. And you know what that means? That means we can make some babies. I have now lit the nether portal and fingers crossed that it takes me somewhere nice. I've taken the coordinates down just in case things get more complicated from here. Okay, we are in the nether. Is this anywhere close to any of my nether portals? I don't think so. What I'm going to try and do here is I'm going to try and pillar up and we're going to try and nether pearl through the ceiling to get on top of the nether so I can make this portal on top. We're at the roof of the nether here and I got a ladder so theoretically I should be able to ender, pearl, or ender pearl through the top of here and onto the roof of the nether. Uh, I only have one ender pearl so I really hope this works. Alright, come on. Oh, that didn't work. I got stuck in the stuck in the bedrock. <sighs> that took a little while, but we're finally back. I got some more ender pearls. Let's see if we can come on, get through. You can do it. Oh, is it gonna kill me? Don't kill me. Woo! Woo! That was scary. <laughs> the good news is is if this doesn't work I can always just die or just kill myself and then I'll respawn somewhere and this portal will be up there alright so let's try this again so I think you have to what, throw it into the ladder maybe No, oh, oh, is it gonna kill me? Woo! Woo! All right, we did it! We made it! We made it through the bedrock. Fantastic! I finally got my track all set up through the Nether, and hopefully everything goes off without a hitch. Uh, it took quite a while to get everything going, but. Uh, fingers crossed. Let's let's send this mofo through the nether. So he's in his minecart. We're gonna F three B to show this because we don't want to hit the villager. We'll hit the minecart, and they pop through. Now I'm gonna pop through just to make sure he got through okay. Ah, uh, fantastic! There he is. I even got the other minecart. Now I'm gonna send this around in circles and that's gonna pick him up. Let me get the other minecart here so it picks the other one up. Alright, and let's go back through and get the other villager. That was surprisingly easy. Alright, come on, come on. Yes, there you go. And in you go. Alright, let's follow. All right, they're both in the carts. Fantastic. We'll kill this torch real quick. Oh, spinning off the rails. All right. Cool. So now we're just going to connect these rails up here. And this will send them all the way to our base. You also want to be careful of these sometimes because they can suffocate and we don't want that. So I'm going to I'm going to get a minecart myself because I'm going to follow them down the path. 
just to make sure everything happens. All right, get on, get on the track, get on the track. All right, there he goes on the track. We're gonna push, 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 and off we go. All right, now we're cruising through the nether with with my good old friends. These two are gonna be making lots of babies. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, this uh, this rail trail rail trail through the nether is so long it took it took me a while and I had to make some more rails as you can see I made a whole ton just in case but we had enough so that means we'll have a ton of rail anytime we need to do anything more with it so we should it looks like a curves coming up so we're pretty close to the portal here and now all we have to do is navigate them into the base and I have to set up another rail system to get them to where they ought to be and then next episode we're gonna tackle the villager breeder uh, since we're running out of time for this one and once we get the villager breeder up and running we can get the villagers to start making uh, making the courts and that's going to be super great because then we're going to be able to finish the villager trading hall okay ladies and gentlemen we finally got him in the portal room they ran around a little bit but now it is time to get this rolling here so let's get going here we'll give him a shove come on come on little doggy woo we're just gonna follow him just for fun here I had to tear up my stairs, but that's okay. Now we're in here, and finally, we hit. Whoa, sending me back. Uh, <laughs> we got the villagers here. It was a long journey, but we finally did it. We got our two zombies, and. Oh, I'm sorry. We got our two villagers, and we got our one zombie holding the sword. We'll give them names later, too. I think that'll be fun uh, but for the time being we're gonna put a quick wall around them just because we want to make sure that nothing happens to these villagers and there we go next episode we're gonna work on the villager breeder that way we can get some villagers and we can make some masons so we can get more courts so we can finish this room. I really like how this design's coming together and I hope you like it as well. Thanks everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We had a lot of we had a lot of ups and downs, but I think everything's coming together just fine. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.